Hello there! Good morning! Happy resumption to you! So this morning is another exciting moment to learn the weak sound. And my name is Mr. Michael, as you all know. So, let's talk about the weak sound. This is the weak sound. Okay? You will see the symbol like this. Now, three things we need to know about the weak sound. First is um, how to sound it. Second is the positions that we will see the sound in words. And third is um, words with the weak sound. Okay, so let's start with the first one. How to sound it. What's my mouth? You make your lips open a little. Not too tight, not too open, just like this. And you sound uh. You sound uh. 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 Sound that, let me hear you. Uh. Good, that's it. Just like that. Sound with me now. Uh. That's it. Okay, so now let's talk about where we can find uh in words. That's the weak sound. Another name for the weak sound is schwa sound. Okay, so where we can find it in words? We can find it in words from the beginning, in the middle, and at the end of some words. Okay, from the beginning we can see it in words like alone. Again, agree. In the middle, we can see it in words like, I know you all like chocolates, right? Good. So that word chocolates, it's a good word having the schwa sound in the middle. Choc chocolates. Chocolates. Okay? Now when things are not together, we call them separate. Separate. Okay? And we can also have um to get your numeracy right do what you calculate. That's key. Uh, that's when you have it in the middle. Calculate. So at the end of words, you can see it in words like um what's that word again? People that teach you, like I am a teach uh. The uh that's when you have the schwa. Teach uh. So don't forget the lips, not too tight, not too open. Teach uh. Okay, we can also have it in dance, uh, dance, uh, and we can have it in preach, uh, preacher. So those are the words have in schwa. There are still millions of words with schwa that you can get to learn on your own, and the, with the little attachments that you will see from this video, you also see little words on schwa from beginning, in the middle, and at the end. I hope you all enjoy today's class on Diction Transformation with Mr. Michael. I'll see you some other time. Goodbye.